In this video, we are going to talk about 10 things rich people do but poor don't. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Wealthy get that way? What affects your degree of wealth and success? Is it luck, education, or the magnitude of your inheritance? According to report, over 12% of all American homes reflect a million-dollar net worth. About 1% of U.S. households are believed to be worth $10 million or more. Research reveals that around 80% of millionaires are self-made. Many did not complete college. And while a little luck can't hurt, wealthy individuals have a way of creating their own opportunities. The true difference between the wealthy and the working class is habits. These include common behaviors as well as habits of mind. Here are the 10 things rich people do but poor don't. So let's start. Number 10. Save systematically and automatically. Wealthy individuals do not wait to see how much money is left over at the end of the month. Instead, they prioritize saving. Saving occurs frequently on an automated basis, such as through bank transfers into savings accounts, whole life insurance payments, and contributions to retirement plans. Because earning more than you spend is vital to wealth accumulation, saving early can help you achieve greater financial success in the long run. Prioritize saving and if you can, automate it such that saving happens without any effort necessary. Number 9. Know what you spend. One of the benefits of being wealthy is being able to spend as much money as you want without giving a second thought to the expense of doing so contrary to popular belief, the reverse is true. The wealthy have gotten to where they are because they pay close attention to the money that comes in and goes out. Wealthy people do not spend in a haphazard or unthinking manner. They spend with purpose and in accordance with their moral principles. They despise wasting time. According to the book The Millionaire Next Door, wealthy people frequently comparison shop, repair rather than purchase new, and purchase items out of season in order to get the greatest deal. They also keep thorough records of their expenditures, or have a bookkeeper track it for them. If you ever find yourself wondering where your money is going, this is an absolutely necessary habit to develop. Number 8. Take calculated, not foolish, risks. Wealthy people are willing to take chances in order to learn new things, gain new abilities, and broaden their horizons. They are more than likely to start a business and make investments in other enterprises and or real estate properties. All of these behaviors entail some level of risk, but they also have the potential to yield big benefits. Gambling is something that wealthy people do not do. Only 6% of wealthy people participate in the lottery, compared to 77% of impoverished people, according to the Money Crashers website. Poor individuals consider playing the lottery to be a means of getting lucky. Rich people understand that positive behaviors, habits, and thinking open the door for good things to happen in their lives and in the world around them. Number 7. Focus on opportunities, not problems. Instead of being viewed as insurmountable roadblocks or something to merely whine about, they should be viewed as opportunities to be solved. Problems may also show themselves as possibilities for the establishment or expansion of a company. When lockdowns occurred, many creative individuals devised a way to pivot their profession or business in order to accommodate the new reality. A variety of online events, classes, and lessons were organized, masks were created, and new opportunities for earning money appeared. A concentration on opportunities also lends itself to one of the most important aspects of wealth accumulation, varied income. According to popular belief, the average millionaire has seven sources of income. This is due to the fact that they are constantly on the hunt for chances. Number 6. Wealthy people prioritize health. According to Thomas Corley, author of Rich Habits, Poor Habits, Wealthy people are significantly more likely to consume healthful foods and limit their consumption of junk food. This may be influenced by factors such as education, improved access to fresh food, or a larger food budget. In addition to eating well, successful people are more likely to maintain a healthy weight through exercising. When Thomas Stanley and William Danko conducted research for their book The Millionaire Next Door, they discovered that wealthy people had the discipline to exercise for more than three hours per week. According to Corley, 
76% of wealthy people engage in aerobic activity at least four days a week, compared to only 23% of low-income persons who do the same. Number 5. Have a morning success routine. Can try to rise and shine a little earlier than the rest of the world. On average, around 6 a.m. researchers discovered that 44% of wealthy people get up three hours before work, compared to only 3% of the unemployed or underemployed. Robin Sharma, a business mentor, has a 5 a.m. club, where he meets every morning, and a book by the same name. Mornings are a time for planning and preparation, as well as for prayer, meditation, and reading, among other things. Many successful people also work out in the mornings to maintain their fitness. One thing that successful individuals don't do first thing in the morning is check their email. Rather than starting the day by responding to requests and demands from others, as Mel Robbins suggests, you should establish the tone for the day first. Number 4. Be intentional with your time. Successful people are conscientious about how they use their time throughout the week. They may employ a time blocking system, such as Dan Sullivan's entrepreneurial time system, to organize their activities. They will also outsource clerical and administrative tasks so that they may devote their time to revenue generating initiatives. Additionally, many successful people refrain from spending much, if any, time on social media and from watching much, if any, television. Number 3. Rich people are lifelong learners. The transformation of Tom Bilyeu from a sluggish underperformer to the founder of Quest Nutrition, a billion-dollar corporation, and the popular impact theory, a talk program featuring conversations with prominent authors, business people, and thought leaders. How did he manage to pull it off? Carol Dweck's research on growth mindset is cited by Tom. When Tom understood that he could continue to develop his abilities, talents, and knowledge, he gained the confidence to pursue his goals and achieve. Successful people have a proclivity to learn through their reading preferences. According to Corley, the average millionaire spends at least 30 minutes each day reading. They are significantly more likely than poor people to read non-fiction books, although rich individuals are more inclined to read for pleasure. Among the most popular books and reading materials are those that deal with current events, their professional or personal development, or biographies of famous people. Number 2. Own your results. Wealthy individuals accept responsibilities. They are self-motivated individuals. Wealthy people are in control of their thinking, their behaviors, and the consequences they produce as a result. Individuals who are successful don't hold it against others, and they aren't worried with who receives the credit. Instead, they are focused on what they are producing and the impact that it will have, whether they are working alone or with collaborators to achieve their goals. Number 1. Surround yourself with like-minded people. According to Steve Siebold, author of How Rich People Think, wealthy individuals surround themselves with people who share their values. Whether they are mentors or colleagues, they are individuals who share a common mission and set of objectives. You will be inspired to be successful and hardworking if you surround yourself with individuals who are successful, determined, and hardworking. Keep away from folks who try to bring your objectives down to their level, Mark Twain reportedly said. That is something that small people always do, but the truly great make it seem like you have the potential to be great. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.